you speak with my uncle? I wish I had better news about your uncle and Anne. Well, what did he say? I'm afraid he wants you nowhere near Feldcroft. Nor Anne. I had to stop that goblin from killing my sister. He had no right to banish me from my own twin. <sighs> if he thinks banishing me means I'm going to give up on Anne, he's sorely mistaken. He also said he cannot excuse the use of dark magic in any form, and that if he hears of either of us using it, he'll go straight to Professor Black. Huh? That relic, dark magic or not, is the key to saving Anne, to reverse that curse. I will not lose Anne for good. I should send the crest to Anne. She'll know that we need to meet. I'm afraid I don't follow. Nothing, just a thought. Now I'm more determined than ever to learn what power that relic has. I shall wait to hear from you then. Thank you. I very much appreciate you standing by me through all of this. I'll send you an owl when I have news. Nice to see you, my young friend. Ah, I have been meaning to speak with you. I still can't believe we escaped the Ashwinders. You may not realize it, but you are the talk of the school since you saved me that day. I wonder how everyone knows about it. I told my mother in the hope that she would be more forgiving of what I have been up to if it came from me. She likely told other professors and... <laughs> news travels quickly. Unfortunately, she might, in fact, have been even less forgiving than I'd hoped. If she knew more about what you've done, I suspect she'd be proud. If she knew any more about what I've done, she would never let me out of her sight again. I'm sorry. Has Officer Singer done anything with the evidence we provided? She has not. <sighs> Halo is as strong as ever. Someone needs to stop him, whether it is us or Officer Singer. If someone had stopped the monsters like him in Matabililand, my father would be alive today. What exactly happened to your father? It was a beautiful day. My mother had gone to tend to a neighbor who was ill, and so my father and I were galloping in the savannah. Galloping? Your father was also an Animagus, I take it? He could become the most majestic giraffe, and he would carry me on his back, my arms around his neck. We were on our way home when we surprised a group of bandits who had come from our village. One of them saw me just as he removed a scarf from his face. He shouted and then aimed his rifle. He didn't want you to identify him. Exactly. In an instant, my father bowed his neck to protect me and was hit. As he fell, my father changed back into his human form. When the bandits saw this, they turned and ran in fear. Magic terrified them and then he was gone. And it was all my fault. Your fault? How so? He died protecting me. If I had been capable of protecting myself, he would still be alive today. My mother and I tried to go on without him, but it became too much for us there. A few years later, we left to come to Scotland. Do you think taking down the Ashwinders will avenge your father's death? No. Vengeance is not what drives me. My father would not want that. He, and my mother, raised me to believe that it is a privilege to be able to fight for those who cannot. I know there is risk involved, but I feel it is worth it. <laughs> I am glad you seem to think so too. I'm sorry, Natty. I can't imagine what you've been through. Your father sounds exceptional. He was truly extraordinary. And thank you for your kind words. We all have our burdens. My father had a saying about that. Yes, I remember. Rain does not fall on one roof alone. Exactly. Soon you and I will put an end to the Ashwinders. Rookwood is already gone, Hollow will be next. We are making progress, and we will succeed. Thank you again for saving me. You deserve all of the praise you have received. Revelio.
I can do this. I can do this. They will want to help. Is this where we're meeting the centaurs? Well, they don't exactly know we're coming, so it's less of a meeting and more of a surprise, I suppose. Once we tell them about the Snidgets, they'll understand why we came and they'll want to help. I hope you're right. Perhaps they'll be able to tell that we're sincere. There's something about them that's so knowing. It's almost unnerving. I suppose they are known for having an air of omniscience. That's exactly the right word. I just... never mind. What is it? It's nothing, truly. I've... We've no secrets to hide. That's right. We'll simply be honest with them about what we're trying to do. They'll have to help us, won't they? Yes, of course. You're absolutely right. We'll meet with them, tell them about the Snidgets, and I'm sure to all be fu- That relic is the key to saving Anne. I know it. Meet me outside of Feldcroft as soon as you can. What do you think you're doing here, humans? Please! We were hoping to speak with you- Ah! I suppose you'd like a tale for your friends of the time you spoke to a centaur, and it spoke back. No! Never! We're here because we need your help! Enough! You made a grave error in judgment in coming here, little witch. Leave them be, Alec. We do not harm the young. It is not our way. You forget your place, old fool. I'm the leader of this herd, and while you cling to our way, their kind continues to slaughter beasts like us without a care. From what I can see, they have slaughtered no one. They will leave here unharmed. Mark my words, Doran. If I ever see them again, it will be all three of your heads. <clears throat> Foolish children. Do you know what happens to wizards who wander here? Now, follow me before Golden I... Golden Snidgets are still alive, and the poachers are after them. They know that the key to finding them lies in the moonlight, but they don't know what that means, yet. Please, help us find the Snidgets before the poachers do. Could it be? In the south, there is a cave within which lies what the poachers seek, a moonstone. Retrieve it and place it in the henge in the forest. I, on the other hand, must go speak with the herd. Find me after you have done this. I don't understand. So the moonlight mentioned in the journal doesn't refer to actual moonlight, but to a moonstone. What do moonstones have to do with snidgets? And why was he so certain about where we could find one? I don't know, but I am inclined to believe him, what with his being a centaur and all. I am too. It is a shame how quickly he left. What was his name? Doran. That's what the leader of the herd called him. Well, if Doran knows something we don't, I'd rather act now and ask questions later. I can head to the library and start looking into the cave you mentioned. Would you please meet with me in the Great Hall? I have come upon a difficult time and I need a friend. On another adventure, are we?
Some days are more difficult than others. Lassie, is everything all right? <sighs> there are times when my father's absence drifts to the back of my mind, and I feel peace for a day or two. But this is not one of those times. I miss him. I miss running with him. I miss Matty Belliland. He should still be here. And it's my fault that he isn't. I'm sorry, Natty. I wish there was something I could do to help. You have done plenty. In fact, many of my good days are good because of you. The bad days, however. I believe I would feel less helpless if I could truly put an end to Harlow and the rest of Rookwood's miserable lot. Of course, you have put an end to Rookwood. And Ranrock. You've done a great deal of good that is a benefit to all. With Hollow on the prowl, there can be no real peace. Each day he remains free, he does more damage, leaving people like Archie Biko to suffer the consequences. I agree, Natty. We'll get him. I've never seen someone so committed to a cause. Thank you. I believe we will get him. Thank you for speaking with me. It was very helpful. Seems a pleasant enough little place. Sebastian! A lost relic from a catacomb which requires a dark sacrifice. I know how it sounds, but if this can help you, it's worth the risk. Does Ominous know about this? He helped find the scriptorium where we discovered Slytherin's spellbook. Very well. If Ominous will be there, I'll meet you. We don't have much time. Solomon wants to leave Feldcroft. What? Leave? Never mind. You need to stall him. Buy us time, Anne. Please. I shall do my best. I'll be in touch. Solomon can't take Anne from Feldcroft. Where would they go? When would I see her? Sebastian, I can't believe my uncle wants to leave Feldcroft. Anne's going to stall him. She must. We need time. Time? For what? I've learned more about the relic. I cross-referenced Slytherin's spellbook with everything in the library on relics and dark sacrifices. That's when I realized something. I believe the relic will only work inside the catacomb. So we have to get Anne to the catacomb and then conduct a sacrifice? Seems risky. It'll be worth the risk. Our biggest hurdle may be convincing Ominous. Anne will only give this a chance if he's on board. And we have to keep all of this from your uncle. If he goes to the Headmaster, we could be expelled. Let me handle Ominous this time. As for my uncle, he's not an Aura anymore. What he doesn't know, well, won't hurt us. Good luck with Ominous. Until we meet again. I shall let you know when the four of us should meet at the catacomb. Look for my owl. See you soon.
By all accounts, Hogwarts would be lost without you. Professor Weasley, you wanted to see me? I did. We haven't had a chance to speak since... I know you were quite close with Professor Fig. Hogwarts won't be the same without him. No, it won't. But I can assure you that he would want us to press on, and that he would rest easy knowing that the future of the wizarding world is in hands like yours. Thank you, Professor. You've had quite a year, both inside and outside of Hogwarts. I've heard all sorts of rumors. You've ridden a Graphorn, befriended a goblin, rescued hippogriffs, even helped Mr. Ollivander track down a family wand. How did you... It's harder to keep secrets around here than one might suspect. I'm just glad you found such a good friend in Miss Onai. I think her mother shares the sentiment. While I do not condone taking matters into your own hands when it comes to men like Rookwood and Harlow, your bravery is to be commended. Thank you, Professor. I... No need to discuss it further. What I would like to discuss is your wizard's field guide. May I see it? Of course. What do you think, Professor? I think you've been busy this year. I see some progress here, but quite a bit of your field guide has yet to be completed. Fortunately, you do have some time to prepare for your OWLs. I will confess, I had a sense about you from that first moment you came bursting in late to the sorting ceremony. I am pleased to see that my instincts were correct. To think you've only been with us a year and you'll already be taking your OWLs, well, it's nothing short of astonishing. Thank you, Professor, for everything. You are most welcome. I look forward to seeing what you do during the rest of your time with us. without you.